What's up guys, it's Holton Joe. It's kind of cold in my garage, which is why I'm wearing my uh, knockoff Ghostbusters Frozen Empire jacket. I even have the No Ghost patch. I have not put my name tag on this yet because I got this from one of the other members of the Atlanta Ghostbusters, the group that I'm in, the Ghostbusters group that I'm in. I'm gonna put my name on this, and this is not the actual jacket they wore in the movies, but this is kind of like a cheap knockoff that I think we got from Timu. So if you are looking for a Ghostbusters Frozen Empire jacket to wear for 30 seconds, which is about the same amount of, they wore it in the movie, <laughs> then you can get one for cheap on Timu. That's not what this video is about. This video is about printing in the cold. So I just learned this the other day the hard way because I just moved to a new place and I have all of my printers in my garage now. I used to have them inside in the house in the nice AC heat temperature controlled uh, environment and now I have them in my garage which is great because there's a lot more space in here. I can do a whole lot of stuff. I can film videos without disturbing anybody but the unfortunate part is and the reason why I'm wearing this jacket right now is because it is now December in Georgia and that means that it is cold. I don't know what the temperature is right now. It's not as cold as it has been, but it is. it has been getting down to the 20s. I don't know if we're gonna get into the below freezing, but that is cold to us. So I know there's people who live in places where it's a lot colder than that, but to us here in Georgia, 20 degrees is cold. Winter is coming. So my garage is probably gonna be anywhere from 40 to 50 degrees, maybe even lower than that, depending. There's, there's no AC, there's no heat in here. I don't even have heaters in here at all. The only thing that's in here is my washer and dryer and my 3D printers that are standing over here to the left of me. Now, I made a video the other day using Ujoy Bio 3D's uh, new Hyper PLA and I made some little trinkets and a Lifeguard 2 from Ghostbusters 2 and those things printed perfectly pretty much with no issue. However, as it started to get colder here and I was printing, I started to notice that my prints were starting to fail and I ended up with a lot of this stuff. I know you've seen this before. If you own a 3D printer, you've had the spaghetti monster at one point or time. So I was getting really frustrated because I couldn't figure out. My printer was leveled. I had already been printing things left and right and those all came out perfectly. So what changed? Well, the temperature in my garage got a lot lower. And so I, a lot of you probably already know this, you 3D printing experts out there, so this is probably not new information to you, but for those of you out there who aren't as advanced in 3D printing knowledge, this might be helpful for you. If you have your printers in a colder environment, in your garage, in a basement, anything like that, this might be what's causing your prints to fail. What was happening to mine, in my case, was that my prints were starting, the first layers looked good, the second or third layers look good. I would come out and check on my prints after an hour or so just to see how they're doing and everything was looking good. My raft was laying down on the bed flat like it always does and then I would think everything's fine and then I would come back out here the next morning or maybe even just several hours later to find the spaghetti that I just showed you. And the reason why that was happening is because the temperature on my printer bed is set to 50 degrees. That's the temperature that the filament usually sticks to the bed well under, so I didn't really feel the need to change it when I started using this new PLA. Unfortunately, I did not account for the fact that the temperature is a lot lower in here than it is in the house where I used to have my printer. So 50 degrees works fine when you're in a temperature controlled environment and the AC is set at 60 something degrees or 70 something degrees if you're one of those sadistic people who keeps your temperature really high in the house. You crazy, you crazy people. You maniacs! Anyway, so I was talking to one of my other friends who also does Power Rangers helmets and he 3D prints stuff as well. And he's kind of an expert on the 3D printing of Power Rangers helmets and things like that. So I asked him for some advice and I was like, I don't understand why. And I noticed that the prints themselves were just kind of popping off the bed and the nozzle was still going but my print would be kind of on the other side of the bed. And so I was like, hmm, what's actually happening is the print is releasing from the bed before the print is finished because the difference in temperature is causing, the cold is causing 
the, the, the print to pop off the bed. Kind of like whenever you finish a print and it cools down. And a lot of times when your bed cools down like that, your print will just release by itself from the temperature change. And that's basically what was happening to mine just in the middle of the print instead of at the end when I would be okay with that happening. So what do you do to fix this? Well, it starts before you ever start printing it because this is gonna be something you have to set in your print settings or your slicing settings in Cura or whatever software that you're using. So all I had to do in order to fix this problem, and I could have just brought a bunch of heaters out here and just made it warmer in here. So that's also an option if you have that option, but I don't really have that option. So I had to come up with another solution. So my friend suggested that I do something crazy, which is just simply raise the temperature of my printer bed higher so that it is warmer. So that when the, when it's printing, it doesn't get cool enough to pop off the bed. So that's what I did. I went to Cura and I'll show you how to do it. I went to Cura and I changed the temperature of my print bed from 50 all the way up to 65. And you can do 60 or 65, whatever works or whatever you think is going to give you enough heat to counteract the cold in your room. And I, and I did that. I changed those settings in Cura. I came back out, tried my print again. And what do you know? It printed successfully with no spaghetti and I had a perfectly nice print in my cold garage. So if you have your printers located somewhere cold or cooler, like a garage or a basement, and your prints are just failing and you can't figure out why, maybe it's just that you just need to up the temperature of your print bed. So this might not be useful to some of you out there who already know all this information, but if you are new to 3D printing and you just can't figure that out, or you wanna be able to put your printer somewhere that's not inside your temperature controlled house, then this might be helpful for you. So let me know in the comments, if you've tried printing in a colder area, how did that work out for you? If you like this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe so you get all of the updates for my future content. And make sure that if you're not already subscribed to my Patreon, you can find the link in the description. We're posting a lot of new stuff there as well. So check it out.